Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to configure top 15 switch configuration using Cisco Packet Tester. So uh, in this series of training, we are going to follow this Excel sheet uh, to, guide, uh, to guide us on what we're going to do in every video. So these are all training uh, uh, programs that we have uh, prepared for you guys from basic configuration, uh, switching, routing, uh, WLAN and VoIP and finally to firewall configuration. So let's start with uh, basic configuration. We're going to do basic configuration for both the switch and the router. So without any further ado, let's begin our class. I'm going to read the switch and for a switch, just click on the networking devices and click on the switches and take 2960 switch is the switch that we're going to use in this training. And for this demo guys, I'm not going to use switch CLI, okay? I'm going to connect it through a console cable to our computer. So choose computer, place it there, sorry, sorry. Um, then we connect it via console cable. Click on the connections and here is the console cable. Click on the console cable, I mean. Then click on PC and choose uh, RISE-232 interface on the PC. Then come to switch and take console interface on the switch. Click on it. And let's now obtain the switch interface from our PC, okay? Because in every normal configuration, you either do console or remote access via SSH or Telnet, or maybe log web login for other devices, right? So click on this PC, then come to desktop and come to terminal, right? Come click on terminal and leave everything the way they have and click OK. And now we have obtained switch interface from our PC. So you can see this is a switch, right? And now guys, so let's follow the, uh, the Google spreadsheet. You can see we, we need to start with navigating user levels. So guys, this is called user exec mode. So to move from user exec mode to privilege exec mode, we use enable command, enable, okay? And you hit enter. So this is privilege exec mode. This is user exec mode. There's nothing we can do in user exec mode, but for privilege exec mode, we can show a, a little bit of configuration and configure a little bit of uh, configuration too. So to access full configuration, guys, let's go to what is called global configuration mode. And how do we go there? Config, configure terminal or config T. You can use a, a short form of that. Okay. So here is global configuration and this is privilege exec mode and this is user exec mode so guys we can start configuring uh, the parameters on global configuration so when i go back here the first thing that we do is to configure hostname so we come here and say hostname uh, hostname just say the command is hostname then you give you give just give it a name like uh, switch one uh gtech okay so that's our host name. You can see it changed from a default host name of a switch to switch one GTH. Okay. All right. So the next thing, guys, as per the spreadsheet, uh, we need to configure banner MOTD and enable password. So let's go and configure banner MOTD. Banner MOTD, guys, is just a kind of a message that directs people or warns people. For example, when he, this switch is, in the, is restricted for only IT guys. Uh, banner MOTD will give you that message. For example, let's say banner MOTD. MOTD is just a message of the day. Then the command is just banner MOTD. Then you input any or you enter any uh, character. For example, in this case, let me just use that. Uh, in, uh, then inside the characters is where you write your message. This is test switch. So the banner MOTD is just a message that tells us this, uh, this switch is used for testing purposes all right then enable password enable password is used to secure privilege exec mode so that when we are from user exec mode and we want to get into privilege exec mode we have to input password so which command we use just enable password to be let's say use any password like uh, even cisco no problem you can use your own right all right so another thing uh line vty password line i mean exact time i mean sorry line console line console password line virtual password exact time out and logging synchronous so guys the four goes together uh when we're going to configure line virtual we need to include password we need to include exact time out and login synchronous the same applies to 
len v2 okay so let's start with len console so um so let's enter len console len console is just kind of uh, the one that i'm using right now okay right using console cable so len console console zero zero just one user okay from zero one user a switch has only one console port so one user can connect uh, to it at uh, the uh, to one only one user can connect to it at, at, a, at a time right then you let's then let's give it a password password to be you can write your own but in my case select cisco okay then after writing password now you log in the user suppose the user enters the cisco the password underline console zero you log in okay it enter then how do, what do we do we want to set exec timeout so that when this user is uh, is um is inactive or is idle for quite some time then the devil will lock him or uh, out okay so just say exec exec timeout to be three minutes space zero seconds okay all right then login synchronous to prevent log messages from interrupting our configuration we just write login synchronous and you exit this interface all right now let's go to LAN VTY. LAN VTY is the one that you use to remote log into uh, a device using SSH or Telnet. So LAN VTY 0 to 15, okay? Then the first thing you do, issue a password. Uh, password to be, you can write your own. Let's say me in my case, I'll use Cisco, okay? Then log in the user. Suppose the user enters this password under LAN VTY, log in or out. In, I mean, sorry okay login or uh, in okay then let's issue exact timeout suppose this user is uh inactive for quite some time then they should be logged out exec exact timeout let me say three minutes zero seconds then login synchronous to prevent log messages from interrupting our configuration just say login synchronous and you hit enter exit the inter the line interface okay right so guys we might need to configure the four line line console and vty exact timeout and login synchronous because these two applies to each of these okay all right so login um, disable ip domain lookup so we're going to disable ip domain lookup to prevent uh, unnecessary dns uh checkups or lookups okay so we just say no ip domain lookup okay prevent uh, unnecessary DNS lookups, okay? Then uh, another thing is to set IP domain name and the username and password. It's very, very important to set a uh, domain name to your devices. For example, when you are working at google.com, when we are working at Google, all the devices will be google.com, okay? So IP domain, domain, domain uh, name to be, let's say, cisco.com cisco.com okay so this is our uh, domain name cisco.com in my in my setup here okay you can use your own then we need to set username and password as as explained here under uh spreadsheet okay username and password for example when to remote login to the device you you, you have to use uh, the username and the password okay so username just the command to be username you can use it be as the, our username then password uh, let's use password as a uh, cisco in my case okay because i like cisco so i use uh, admin as my, my username password as cisco okay all right then uh, then um, encrypting all passwords so we are here we're encrypting all passwords so we need to encrypt all password that we've been configuring remember this password if you show it in the configuration it is uh it's a uh, plain text it's just like this someone can read it and use it so if I can just show you that, we just say do show run, running configuration, do show run, just like that, short form, okay? You will see uh, enable password is Cisco, okay? A privilege a username is admin, privilege one, then password is Cisco. Meaning you can just take the username and password and log into the device. If you're a hacker, you can destroy the network, right? So let's prevent that. How do we do it? Uh, we just issue a command that's called service password encryption service password encryption will encrypt all of these passwords okay all of this right all right so let's show you let's show the running configuration again do show run so you so you will see 
this one is encrypted the password is here is encrypted and it's uh, different from the previous password that was not encrypted all right so i believe you understand that let's go back to our spreadsheet and set current clock time so guys it's very, very important to synchronize the clock so we need to set current clock time and to set current clock time guys we need to go back to privilege exec mode right and set uh just say clock set my time is 13 uh 21 uh, and then let me just get seconds so the hour the minutes and the seconds okay then you give the date my date is let's just get like uh 28 okay then uh comma 02 2023 oh sorry sorry uh just you start with the you start with a uh, month so for example 02 28 uh 2023 no 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 it want me to write months in uh feb february 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 okay uh 28 2023 okay now it's working D this how to set clock current time okay clock set there's that one then month february 28 2023 okay all right so that's how to set current time then we go back and see set management ip address to the switch all right and prevent brute force attack this applies only on the router we'll do that on under the routing configuration so let's uh, let's set a management ip address to the switch so let's go back to global configuration mode and let's set uh, the management IP. How do you set a management IP to a switch? Remember, I switch as a, a VLAN by default, VLAN 1. So we set a management IP address to that VLAN. So we go to interface, VLAN 1. Okay. Then we turn it up. By default, it's shut down. So we turn it up. No shut down. No shut, that's like that. Shut form. All right. Then we send it a IP address. IP address to be 192.168.10.72.54 something like that. Then so it must to be 255.255.255.0 something like that. Okay. And you hit enter. We've set IP address to this uh, management IP address to this switch, and you exit the interface. Right. But now, guys, the switch. You know, the switch doesn't have any routing capability, so we have to assign it uh, a default gateway okay to enable it to be accessed remotely so we just say ip uh, default gateway to be 192.168.10.1 let's say uh, the default gateway was this one so make sure they're in the same network all right all right and that uh, you just done like that how to set management ip address to the switch all right so let's go back to our default i mean uh, spreadsheet google spreadsheet and see what's next so let's view running configuration and startup configuration how do we view running configuration? Very, very simple. We just say do show run. Okay? Running configuration, configuration are not saved. Okay? All right. So these are our running configuration. You can see with the first thing we did a set service sub password on, uh, encryption to encrypt all the passwords. Then we enable password is here. Uh, then the host name is details. You can see no IP domain lookup. Domain name is here. Username and password is here, and another thing that is here. Let's go down. You can see um, management IP address is here and the default gateway. Then the banner message this is test switch, then line console and line VTY passwords, uh, exact amount, and login synchronous are also here. So these are um, running configuration. So let's guys show startup configuration startup config configuration how do you how do you show startup configuration just say do show start do show startup configuration you can see startup configuration is not present because we've not saved anything so it's a time is the time to save running configuration into startup configuration how do we do that we just say do right and we hit enter uh oh do right you can see building configuration right and that's all and now you can just say do show start you will see the running configuration have been saved into 
uh, startup confirmation so thank you so much guys and let's meet again in the next video please subscribe to my channel share with others so that they can also follow this series of training you know it's very very simple we explain a very simple language that even babies understand like our videos and drop a comment of a thank you below so that we can also be motivated guys thank you so much and bye